Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Android developers encounter. Our viewer asks, why doesn't CAPT work with auto value in Android Studio 3.0? Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll address the issue of CAPT not working with auto value in Android Studio 3.0. Let's start by reviewing the Gradle dependencies you have. you are encountering a stack trace error, indicating that the symbol for categories model cannot be found. This suggests that there may be an issue with how the dependencies are set up. Next, let's look at the warning about unrecognized options. The warning states that the option cap.kotlin.generated was not recognized. This could indicate a misconfiguration in your cap setup. To resolve these issues, ensure that you are using the correct annotation processors. You may need to replace annotation processor with CAP for auto value. Finally, after making these changes, sync your Gradle files and rebuild your project. This should help resolve the capped issues with auto value. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If CAP doesn't work with auto value in Android Studio 3.0, the solution is simple. Just switch from annotation processor to CAP. CAP generates Java files instead of Kotlin files, making the original annotation processor unnecessary. Don't forget to clean your project after making this change. Here's a quick code example to illustrate the changes. Use CAP for both dagger and auto value dependencies. Migrating your project to Kotlin can be challenging, but keep pushing forward. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with capped and auto value in Android Studio 3.0, one user found success by removing a specific dependency. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with capped and auto value in Android Studio 3.0, you need to modify your module's build Gradle file. Specifically, add a configuration under default config. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.